Hey guys, today we're gonna to be trying to turn this 70 inch TV into a giant teleprompter for our pastor. So I'm gonna take you along for the ride. We'll see how it goes. All right, so anybody can just put a TV on a wall and send pro presenter to it and call that a teleprompter, but this is next level, okay? We've seen a couple churches do this where you are actually putting uh, teleprompter glass or a some type of screen privacy screen material onto the TV to make a giant uh, monitor that can only be seen from the front. Now I will link in the description the company that we got this from. It was actually a very long process to try and figure out the exact sizing and what materials to use. Even though I know of a couple of people that have done this, uh, we ended up not using their companies because it was gonna be like $3,500 through where they went through. This material ended up costing us $750, $800 with shipping, I think. And it's supposedly self-adhesive and you can kind of position it. It's, it's six squares. Uh, I think it's 30 degree viewing angle on each side. So it's pretty narrow. The idea here is we're placing this TV right below our camera. So that way when our pastor looks from his notes, up to his teleprompter, he can still have confidence in what he's talking about, and it almost looks like he's looking right at the cameras for our online audience. So that's the goal with it, right? Uh, to connect with people uh, that are watching online as well, and but not at the same time disregarding this whole room. So uh, let's dive into it and just see how it goes. So we got these sheets through this company, Optical Filters, that I'll link to in the description. They have an office in England and in the States, I believe. And uh, they're the ones who sent us this product right here. And they sent us this diagram with all the measurements and everything, but we're about to open it up, see what exactly these sheets do. Each piece has a little pullback film that we're gonna pull off. And then I guess you have a few seconds before you're gonna, once you attach it, to move it around. So we're gonna try and do this. Okay, this doesn't feel sticky, so I'm a little concerned. Does it have, oh, it's got something on this side too. Crap. <laughs> Is that side sticky? No, I don't think so. Let's just take it off and see. Okay. This is definitely the outside, so maybe I shouldn't have taken that off yet. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> There's nothing on here. Okay, so yesterday we got all of the film onto the TV. So we did figure out that there's actually three layers of protective film on the glass that you have to take off. It's not glass, it's, it's more of like a, a plastic thing that has this privacy filter on it. Once we figured that out, it's just like a cell phone protector, like how it kind of like sucks to the, the, the screen, the TV, and you just kind of have to work out the air pockets that might develop in there. Uh, it may be easier if you turn the TV on, if you get one of these and do it. I don't know what I was thinking, I had it off, and so it was kind of hard to make sure it's lined up, but I uh, was able to get it going. It's working good. This actually seems like a much better solution than the other two that I've seen. We'll see how long these stay on, but the others were had like double-sided tape that actually went onto the TV screen. So I like this solution. Uh, hopefully it really does help and it's a useful tool for us to share the gospel effectively. And you know, do you need this? No, you don't necessarily need it. People have shared the gospel and, and read, read scripture and, and studied the Bible long before this was around, but we have the technology to be able to communicate the best that we can uh, with those here in the room and those watching us online. So why not try it and see uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop those in the comments. If this has been a helpful or interesting video to you, why not like and subscribe to the channel? I'm always just documenting the things that we're doing here at our church as we try to do great things for God's glory. That's what it's all about. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll link to all of these things, where we got them in the description below. And we'll see you in the next one.